What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. So today we're going to be focusing on Hamari Traore. Now he's gotten an 84 rated UCL or as, as UECL it is. Europa Conference League I'm pretty sure or UEFA Conference League something like that. Um, but he plays for Rennes and they actually have a good opportunity for him to go to an 86 rated. Now if you guys don't know how these work um, if Rennes do go on to win three out of the next four games he will get a plus one and if they do make the knockouts they will go ahead and he'll get another plus one. I feel like this card definitely has a potential to go to an 86 rated as well. League Un right backs are very limited. It's either Traore or Hakimi. Lads, hope you guys do go on to enjoy this review. Now, a little brief, you know, look at his stats. He is 5 foot 9 with high medium work rates. He has 3 star, 3 star, which I mean sometimes you'd like a 4 star weak foot down the right. Now, I've gone for an anchor chemistry style today, which does put his pace from 90 up to 95. As for passing, it's nothing crazy. Dribbling is really solid with 87 agility is probably the key stat there. Defending, I mean we, like I said we have gone for an anchor so he goes to 90 slide tackle, 90 stand tackle, 81 awareness, 81 heading and 82 interceptions. Physical as well, he gets a plus 10 strength boost and a plus 5 uh, aggression boost putting him to 85 strength with 85 aggression. This looks a really nice cheeky card. He also does have a long throw and trait which doesn't really mean too much at all. I mean it just does mean he can throw the ball a little bit further. Now I'm actually really excited to try him out. We have a, well I've already tried him out. This is a uh, past tense I could say like I've already I've already done it we're doing an intro after we play the games um, but we actually did pair him up with a Doku Jeremy Doku which is actually a little bit of an underrated link uh, he's not too bad whatsoever four star I mean 95 agility 88 balance he's actually a nice cheeky link so if you guys are looking for that then there you go but if you ever do boys let's hop over to the gameplay as well an update on the current review leaderboards I almost forgot in first place it is currently David Ginola with a 9.4 followed closely in second with Inform Rafinha with a 9.3 and in third ones to watch Taliska with a 9.2 remember ratings do depend on how they perform for me and their value so how much they are the center review boys is Traore worth for 48,000 coins so hopping in to the gameplay now Traore I actually really did enjoy across the couple games I played with him his dribbling felt relatively responsive his 87 balance especially was really really nice now I did actually notice his 80 agility wasn't the you know most insane he was wasn't like the most agile, you know, you move one direction, he instantly moves the other. But the 87 balance was really nice. He's only five foot nine as well, so he has a relatively good body type. But one thing I, I noticed as, you know, best with him was definitely his pace. He's absolutely rapid, like running down the wing. You just cannot stop him. I feel like comparing him to other league on right backs, like he is actually really, a really, really solid shout. And remember as well, he could have a, I'd say he's got a really solid op opportunity of going to an 86 rated. Now pay attention to this clip as you can see he is running it back absolutely rapidly and that's just an example of how fast he really is like 95 pace in game with an anchor is literally perfect now one thing I do want to you know compare him to is Hakimi now Hakimi has got 95 pace in game um Traore has got I'm pretty sure worse passing worse pace similar dribbling and he's got I'm pretty sure better physical and similar defending do I think Hakimi is better yes I think Hakimi is a better right back but I do think think if this Traore card does go to an 86 rated, I think this Traore is genuinely going to be the best league on right back, and in fact he's only around 45,000 as of recording this right now, just goes to show how like you know how much of a good deal that is. Personally boys, I mean pace, he's got it, passing, it wasn't amazing but it did the job, dribbling, like I said his 80 agility wasn't the most crazy but as for balance, body type, he was actually really reasonable, defending was solid, and his 96 stamina, he's running, you know, full backs, so they've got a lot of running to to do he's running from one side of a pitch to the other and his stamina is lasting absolutely fine i absolutely love this card um now as you can see here it's a little bit of an example of, of a couple interceptions he makes one there obviously it does go out but overall boys i really did like this card i think he's a really good solid league on a right back as i said at the minute at the current minute i would rank hakimi above him but i do think if traore goes to an 86 rated i think for forty-five thousand coins i think traore is not a better right back but i think he's better value as it stands so as I said pace dribbling and 96 stamina are the main three pros that I did find with him uh, as for the cons I mean you do have to search a bit for the cons of this card there's nothing that's necessarily bad 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 um, but I would say the three star three star not so much a three star weak foot because I mean right footed right back left footed left back it doesn't really matter it's more of a skill moves I'm worried about three star skill moves uh, you can only do like you know the, the classic skill moves the basic skill moves you, sometimes personally with me with my full backs I like having four star skill moves 
fullbacks to help get yourself out of some sticky positions. He's a little bit of a predictable card, if you will. Obviously, people know that he's going to be fast. People know he's got dribbling, but the thing is, he's only got three star skill moves, so he's kind of relatively easy to, you know, predict what he's going to do next. But all in all, like I said, I think he's a really reasonable card. Coming in at 45,000 coins on the PlayStation and 42,000 on the Xbox for the rating out of 10 today. I mean, if I was to rate him on his performance, I'd probably give him like a, maybe like an eight, an eight and a half. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't bad. But if I was to rate him on his value, now his value, as I said, I think 45,000 coins for a card that has a potential of going to 86 is an absolutely brilliant steal, especially considering how limited the right backs in the league on is. So, I mean, countering in, in the fact of his value, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. In my opinion, boys, I would definitely pick him up. And even if you don't like him, you could use him as an investment. Because as I said, Rennies are actually a really solid team. And I do see them easily going to the knockouts um, in, in the Europa Conference League. 100% pick this card up boys hopefully you guys did enjoy this review i'm trying to make my uh, play reviews a little bit uh, shorter i'm trying to cut out some of the clips that aren't as necessary like just random passes and i'm just trying to get the clips that kind of showcase the card the most so i mean i don't want to make too long of the reviews for you guys and all that good stuff but yeah hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like as well if you did enjoy because it does help push the video out to more and more people drop a sub as well if you are new and until next time boys i'll see you guys all later peace out lads